like this. Harder. Harder. So the husband got home early. I laid down for a minute, but then all I kept thinking about was this RV. So I bought some paint for the cabinets and I get started on that. Okay, here's a sneak peek of the color that I chose for the cabinets. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, at Home Depot and Lowe's, they will put mess up paints um, clearance down. And so this was one of the mess up paints. And so I got it for $2 um, and I love this color. So I was like, perfect, but it sucks because I can't give you like an exact paint color. I don't know what it is. So here we go. let's do this I haven't been out here since I did the first coat on the cabinets um yeah we want to get this pretty much like livable by Memorial Day weekend so we got to get going um I was going to show you guys this real quick this is going to be the boys bunk bed area um my husband's going to build another one that goes right here on top um and then obviously it'll be all cute and painted but I have one of these foam mats that we don't use um it's like a memory foam mat it's really thick it goes for a queen size bed i think i'm gonna cut it and put it on beds for top. right now until i get mattresses but um honestly for camping one or two nights every other every so weekend i feel like my boys would be just fine on this um so that's my plan right now is to take this and use that as their mattresses Spray painted the front of the fridge one coat. I need to do another one. Um, I just used this hammered rust -Oleum. This is the same spray paint we are using on the hinges for the cabinet hardware. It will match um, the hardware that I bought from last Amazon. Last update for right now. This is the paneling we are using for the backsplash. Husband's getting ready to cut it right now. Um, but it was from Home Depot and I think it was like 40 bucks. progress I'm loving the backsplash and I think I'm going to bring it over here and do this whole entire nook getting a late start today because we had a thousand errands to run um, <laughs> yeah we're out here painting so getting this at least the first coat on Okay, so we're stopping here today. Got the flooring in, it's so pretty. Well, got most of it. We still have a couple pieces over here, right here, and then into the bedroom. Got all the cabinets painting, these are coming off. So we kind of moved things around. So the kitchen table is now going to come over here and it will go to where the water tank is right here. About, and then um, we're gonna also have one Murphy like, style connected to the wall and we'll be able to pull it down when we need more space. So then the entire table will go like this whole duration. I'll also have like a curtain right here, hiding the bedroom. So yes, there. table, couch right here. Um, we gotta patch up these or put a new, I don't even know, I'm so tired. Um, this wood, That's how the flooring looks, cut me off. 
And then I also got the foam pads cut and fitted on the bunk bed area. Still have a couple paint touch-ups over here. Um, and then I'll have like curtains hanging on the windows, but yeah, that's the bunk bed area. <laughs> got a lot of work to do, but it's finally like coming together. So stay tuned. I want to show you guys a trick. So I just bought this big drop cloth um, off of Amazon. So it's four feet by 15 feet. And this is what I'm going to do for my curtains in here. And so I I'm here. And so I'm just taking it, I measured it, and I'm going to cut to make the curtains. And I also bought these off of Amazon, and they're little clips, and I'll show you how to hang it. to mention the side that you cut that's uneven that's the side that I clip and I just tuck it behind like this and then I add the clip just to hide the uneven edges so here um, they are um, I just love you know like the boho look eventually I'll get better rods to put in here but you know budget so yeah you can just slide them really easy Put them open or keep them shut and i think my one burlap honestly um will do all my windows and it was pretty cheap off amazon i'll get an exact price same with the clips off amazon as well sorry i'm making you guys play sick but there they are i also did this window right here making progress hey get off the bed with my shoes i need to go pick up some baskets for right here I have fabric that's covering the blue, and I have a lot of paint touch up. I need to hang stuff up. Here's the table Step area. Back. Um, we are going to go get wood from Loza Home Depot to do across the top, like my kitchen table. And then that will be done. Got that wall all finished. Um, here's the kitchen. Put the rug in. Got the couch in. Painted that wall. I have all my decor that's going to be hung up. Um, the bathroom pretty much all put together except the shower right now. No. So we have to work on that, get that fixed, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Got this bed made. I need to go get one more fitted sheet for dinner. Getting ready. Um, the flooring is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And I just cannot believe what this looked like a month ago. Um, we're exhausted. Exhausted. Ready to go enjoy it. A couple but more things tonight and yeah. Tired, huh? Check out this couch too. I love it. It's a futon, so it folds down and it also has like little cup holders. Got it off of Walmart for only $170. My goodness, I'm tired. TV's going right there above the table. Here's my project that I just uh, got the first coat on for today. This door was like this ugly yellow color. Um, so I just did the first coat. It matches pretty close to this shade on the RV. This, Not this will eventually go as well. The whole RV will be either black or white. Um, I'm gonna paint around this white just to match the exterior over here. But yeah, first coat. Okay, so here is the bedroom part. Um, we ended up using the extra wallpaper. I asked you guys where I should use it at and a lot of you voted for the RV. So we ended up using it out here. Um, I just did halfway. I still have to do behind the bed right here. And on the bottom and half, I'm going to take this wood paneling and do that along the whole bottom. And I'm going to carry it, um, into here behind the couch as kind well and yeah. stuff so it'll go halfway up behind the couch as well so that wood will be all around the rv and then i pulled out these ugly blue things that were like inserts on the, the side doors. of the couch um let me see if i so can these are the blue things that were put in the middle um i found this fabric that i had left over for my bench project that i did and i'm just gonna wrap them in this fabric and then put them back up there um, I have a lot of paint where we had to re-drill re holes for the um, hardware. 
So I gotta do all that and then up here I'm gonna get baskets, cute baskets to put up top there. So that is my goal for this week. Um, hopefully we'll get it done and it will make a world of difference. I can't believe where this RV has already come to. Um, and then once we get this done, the only thing we'll have like left I saying, um, the only thing we'll have left to do once we get all the bedroom and the paneling up is the bathroom. We need to get a new shower tub combo and I need to take the flooring into here. We didn't, we stopped and just didn't finish it because we could really um, use nope. in here is the toilet. So, uh, but yeah, we're getting there. I, I just, I'm loving it so much and we've been having a blast taking it everywhere. Mm -hmm.